The 2023 Chili Bowl Nationals has officially concluded, and we have a first-time winner in this year's Chili Bowl Nationals. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. I just got done watching the Chili Bowl Nationals from the Telsa Expo Center. We got a lot to talk about from the race, so let's go ahead and talk about it. And like I mentioned a second ago, though, we've got a first-time winner in this year's Chili Bowl Nationals. Yep, that's right. Young star Logan Seavey, who's been really for the tr for a very long time trying to win this Chili Bowl Nationals, has officially won his first ever Chili Bowl Nationals. He had to hold off a hard-charging Tanner Thorson to get it done and also Cannon McIntosh to get it done. Logan Seavey definitely had the best car, in my opinion, from really start to finish. Yes, Cannon McIntosh and Tanner Thorson did have really strong cars as well in this race. But Logan Seavey's car was just so good. Near the end of the race, it really became as kind of where you're going to have to bump somebody out of the way if you're going to win. Because it kind of became a bottom group racetrack to where it was extremely difficult to pass. Even the Highline kind of got really hard to working. It really worked earlier in the night, but I guess with the track prep and stuff, it kind of made the race kind of a bottom feeder race, unfortunately. And it did affect the outcome of the race. But like I said, though, going back to Logan CV, he's got his first ever Chili Bowl Nationals win. So congratulations to him. There were a lot of cautions in this race. You had Spencer Basin involved in a couple incidents. I think he went upside down once. You had a couple of our drivers had issues throughout the race. There was one, I think Brent Cruz went upside down, unfortunately, in the race. And there were a lot of drivers, unfortunately, had some issues. So that was really unfortunate. But going back to talking about Logan CV. Logan CV is someone who I've really been wanting to win the Chili Bowl Nationals for a long time. He's an extremely talented driver, and he 100% deserves this victory in many more ways than one. So, huge congratulations to Logan CV, and he absolutely deserves this win, in my opinion. So, now we're overall talk about the race, as basically the score of the race, and we'll go through the race results as well. So, let's go through the race results first. Logan CV picks up the victory. Tanner Thorson finished second. Tanner Thorson was really angry after the race, and justifiably so. He had a chance to win and go back-to-back. -back. He did win last year's race. He was coming in as the defending winner, driving for his base a new team, which, of course, was his own organization. He gets a really strong second-place finish, so a great run from Tanner Thorson. Cannon McIntosh finishes third. I think Cannon had the second-best car, and really the best car that could challenge Logan CV through the event. Unfortunately, Cannon made some mistakes throughout the event that kind of took him out of contention. For the overall victory, but he still finished his third great run from Cannon. I think he'll win one of these in the future. Shane Gallaback finished his fourth great run from Shane Gallaback. He kind of was quiet most of the night, but he really kind of showed up near the end of the race and was really good and got a top five finish. Great run from him. How about Emerson Axon finishing fifth? Emerson was really quietly having a great run in fourth and fifth in the main event. Of course, made the main event after a great preliminary night. Finished his fifth great run from him. How about Kyle Jones finishing 6th? Kyle Jones finished 16th, basically started 16th actually at the beginning of the race and drove all the way up to 6th. Imagine if he had a lot more time, he could have been a threat against Logan CB, but he finished 6th. Great run from him. 7th uh, place for Mitchell Moles. Mitchell Moles had a pretty good run. 7th place a great run in the main event. Trey Markham, who for the first time in 13 years made his first ever aiming, he finished his 8th. Great run from him. How about Tim Buckwalter, who started 23rd in tonight's race? He finished his knife. Great run from him. And Justin Grant, it was kind of quite a thought. I was getting more of a factor this year for this race. He finishes in 10th. Tim McCready, who started last in the race, who also has won this event back in 2006, he finishes 11th. Kevin Thompson Jr. finishes in 12th. It was a good run for him. Zeb Wise finishes in 13th. Chris Windham, he actually spun out at one point, bounces back to 14th place finish. Dayson Percy, who's had incredible road to recovery, he made the A main after really strong runs in the C and the B mains. He finishes in 15th. Chase McDermott, who actually won, I believe, the second B main, he finishes in 16th, and he actually wrecked at one point. Thomas Meserol finishes in 17th. Jade Evadison, who basically in her first ever run in the Chili Bowl Nationals, got all the way into the A main and at only 16 years old, which is extremely impressive. She's someone I think is going to be one to watch for years to come. Great run for her. She finishes 18th. Ryan Timms, after spinning up four, she finishes in 19th. Hank Davis, who was really the feel-good story, and actually led the initial portion of this race and actually got the lead early, but after an early crash with Spencer Basin, and I believe it was Chase McDermott as well. He unfortunately ended up finishing 20th, ended up spinning out, was really frustrated. It's a shame because Hank Davis was someone who I thought could have been a threat for the overall win tonight. But 20th place, so making the main show is incredible. I think he could be someone who could win this race one of these days. 
Uh, Rico Brea finished 21st. Rico was actually really a big factor at the beginning, and he was actually running third at one point. Unfortunately, Rico made a couple mistakes that kind of dropped him back, and then unfortunately, on the last lap of the race, the initial last lap of the race before they made it a two-lap shootout near the end of the event, Rico unfortunately ended up spinning out and causing a caution. Uh, Kaylee Bryson finishes in set 22nd. I thought she was getting more of a factor in the main event. She does finish 22nd, though. Good to see her once again make the main. Spencer Basin, after crashing on near the end of the race, he finishes 23rd. And finishing 24th in last place after going upside down is Brent Cruz. So now, so we will talk about the overall race as a whole and give you my score on tonight's Chili Bowl Nationals. Overall, I was not able to watch the full Chili Bowl Nationals, but I was able to watch the last couple mains of the event. And I will have to say that the last couple of mains, the B mains, I thought were really, really good. The B mains are really, really great racing, really short races that I thought were really strong. The 20 lap races were very, very good, great racing. Those were definitely 9 out of 10 races, 100%. The A main, I didn't think was as good as the B main, and it's just me. Kind of felt like a lot of the race kind of a bottom group racetrack. Yes, it did widen out at points, but it seems like people at points when they're trying to widen out the racetrack, they were making mistakes. Like, the racing definitely was really, really good compared to other series, especially. And I thought the race is definitely good for sure. And I think it definitely was better than last year's race for sure. But it wasn't as good as other years I've watched. But I still thought it was still a really solid race. And he had a really good finish through the end uh, as well. We thought it was going to be a Class A battle between Tanner Thorson. And it really, Tanner Thorson put on a, up a good showing. But though obviously, we just had a better car. And it was very difficult to pass. My score of tonight's Chili Bowl Nationals event overall, I would say, is a 9 out of 10. I want to see a little more side-by-side and -side that kind of stuff. It's kind of difficult, especially with midget racing, but it's good to see the race is still very, very solid regardless, and he still had a pretty good race, in my opinion, in this year's Chili Bowl Nationals. I now kind of want to transition talking about getting the track prep prepared and stuff, and I probably have some dirt racing comment fans coming in the comment section of this video. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Yes, I understand it takes a lot of time for them to, to get the track prepped and get the track ready and stuff. But it took a long time for the track to get prepped and stuff. Again, I understand they want to get the track prepared and they want to get the track done as quick as possible. But same token, same time, I think the D-Main had started basically six hours prior to when the race finished at like 6 o'clock. And that's kind of a little bit unacceptable in my opinion. I hope that they can find a way to get the track dried or well, the track prepared a little bit quicker. But yet again, at the same token, same time though, you do want to have the track really good to go for the drivers so that they can race. So I get people being frustrated about that, and I saw social media backlash for sure. That's one reason why a lot of people don't tune in the Chili Bowl as much frequently. Don't get me wrong, I'm still a big fan of the Chili Bowl, and regardless of how long it takes to prep the track or not, I still want to go to the Chili Bowl one day. In fact, I really would love to go to the main Chili Bowl event next year. I just hope that they can find a way to get the track prepared and prepped a little bit quicker going forward. Because if they can do that, I think that'd be really, really good for the Chili Bowl, and it really can make this event better and stuff. I think how they did the full racing stuff was really, really good this year. We can get a full year subscription for the main event, which I think was really, really cool. I just think there's things that they can do for the event overall. There was a lot of pauses. The commentary team was really, really strong this year, and I thought it was a very enjoyable broadcast from what I was able to see this year. So, regardless, I was able to enjoy the event, and I really did enjoy the event. So, that is going to be it for tonight's short Chili Bowl Nationals race review. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Notifications on so you notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And support me on Patreon as well. Let's go and blow over that and combo your thoughts below on tonight's race. What are your thoughts on tonight's Chili Bowl? Let me know below. Let me know your score in the comments below. And congratulate Logan Seavey on picking up his first ever Chili Bowl Nationals victory after working on it for a few years. Let me know in the comments below. Later today on the channel, since technically it's past midnight here on at Central Standard Time, there will be a 2023 NASCAR Paint Schemes video dropping on the channel. Tomorrow there will be a NASCAR News video dropping on the channel, and then on some Tuesday, of course, we'll have that Travis Mastrana report coming out. we got a lot of other stories we're going to be discussing on the channel here that I think we're going to be really, really excited about as we get close to the start of the NASCAR Cup Series season. And also, we've got a lot of special videos on the way before the beginning of 2023. So anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's race review, and I'll see you guys next time for some more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content like the Chili Bowl Nationals on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.